I have a client like, uh, sir, I'm running business this and that, right? Um, I saw the gold price going down. So I mini, mini, mini more. One million, two million, they just put in. Next week, all gone. You know, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, then I sell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Welcome everybody, we are starting a brand new financial series and in the very first episode, we have Mr. Ezon Constantine here Ooh. with us. Hi. He's an extremely experienced trader, he's been doing it for more than 10 years and has coached over 13,000 students over the years. So he's, one, huh? so this is the free one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So he's here to help us understand more about trading, fundamental analysis, technical analysis. So this is essentially a trading 101 for you. We hope you follow along and learn some things. Mm, yeah. So maybe to begin with, Ezon, can you Introduce yourself a bit. For those who, for the very first time, my name is Ezon Konstantin and I'm from Malaysia. A lot of people thinking I'm from Philippines, but I'm not. I'm from <laughs> Malaysia. <laughs> Malaysia represent. <laughs> so, Daniel is from Malaysia as exactly. well, right? Exactly. So, yeah, um, I'm like what Denise mentioned just now, like expert, wow, that one is like a big word now. <laughs> I say, right? Normally for us, like expert in Sifu, we say like, 30 years in the market. Oh. 10 years can oh. yeah. okay. Okay. So you're amateur. Tutor, 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 tutor. How did you get into trading? So first of all, before I get into trading, I'm managing my family fund. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so actually- You do sound like money lah, let's say. So managing my family fund, you know, so we start everything is actually from unit trust. Uh, uh, so okay. I have no idea about like want to make big, you know. So yeah. for us, like 5% to 10% per year is, Mm. It's wow. good enough. It, it is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's really yeah. good. Yeah. So that's what we want to start. Unit trust is considered investing. So I start mm -hmm. with investing first. Actually, investing and trading is not the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not the same. I am quite confused about it too. Oh. So actually, if you're talking about investing, right, everything must be more than one year. That yeah, yeah. is investing. So that's yeah. when you buy something, you hold it like one year, two, three years, you're an investor. Long yeah. horizon. Yeah. Mm. Yes, like what Daniel say. Mm -hmm. Anything less than one year is called trading, but it's divided into four category. Okay. Number one is a scalper. Mm. Mm. Scalper is a person that love adrenaline rush. <laughs> they like to make money every hour, every mm. 15 minutes, every two hours. That's what they want. Mm. Second is intraday trader. Not that really stressful. You don't have to be in front of your laptop too much. Yeah. But what they do is like they enter morning, towards nighttime they will exit their position. Mm. Now we're gonna talk also about another trader, mm. which is Can't swing me. trader. Mm. Okay. So for those who like to take a trade like from three days up to three weeks, that's called swing trader. Mm. It's good for professional people. It's busy. Doctors, engineers, mm. that's good. In mm. fact, if you ask me honestly speaking, right? Every trader should start with swing first, not scalping. Yeah. Mm. All right, but later I'll show you guys what Why? is going on right now. <laughs> and last but not least, the, the number four is called position trader. Okay. This is the people that buy and hold it for three months, okay. two to oh. three months, and they get out. Yeah. Okay. So this is a fourth type of trader. So I hope right. that answer you. Okay. So it's mainly like still about the the time horizon. Like one is within minutes, one is within a day, the other one's within a few days. That yes, few, absolutely. Few okay. Mm -hmm. But anything is less than one year, you are a trader. Right, so that's how I get into trading. I met a certain mentors. They asked me to go to Bursa Malaysia market. Hey, there you go. Right, and yeah. that's why I become a keynote speaker also for Bursa to do the analysis for them as well. Yeah. So yeah. I get into it. And then from a local stock market back in Malaysia, I end up open into the bigger market, which is Forex. Right. Oh, you were, at first you traded the Malaysian exchange yes. as a day trader. KLSC. Yes, KLSC. Isn't, isn't that really? Yo, represent. Does that work? And then you wait a very long time for it to move? Yes, but there is a certain <laughs> stock you're gonna be uh, amazed that some of the stock can move like 25% to 30%. Within a day. Within oh, a day. so the Malaysian oh. exchange is much more volatile. Yes, much more volatile than Singapore. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yes. Singapore, you can attempt to day trade, but you will still be an investor because you wait one year later. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I think for someone who is about to start trading, right, there are two first questions would be, how much do I need to start and what platform do I pick? Normally, what is in your mind that is good amount to start with? Five to 10. Five to 10K. How about you, uh, Daniel? Two to five K. Two to five K. A lot of people out there, they were thinking like, can I start with $200 to $300? Right. right. This mm. is a real thing. $200 to $300 and I can flip it mm. right. to $1,000 to $5,000 within a day. A day, yeah. okay. That is what happening outside and for me right. it's kind of very, very, very big problem. So oh. to start with is actually what you say is absolutely correct. The healthy one, it should be like 2K to 5K. Even 1K 
yeah, I think it's that that's the most minimum. If somebody start with like hundred dollar or two hundred dollar, for me honestly speaking, that is just a warming up for you to play around. It's yeah. not a serious right. money. Okay. Because a lot of people need to understand, right? Trading is a business. Mm-hmm. Trading is a business, so they have to treat it serious. Is it because of the the psychological factor that you don't mind losing hundred dollars, but once you have a thousand dollars, it's harder to lose, or is there a technical reason for that? No. Okay. So first of all, of course, the first thing, hundred dollar, you feel small. Mm. Yeah. You don't take it seriously. Mm. Yeah. But secondly, hundred dollar also you feel stress because every three four dollar movement you count into percentage it becomes different. <laughs> right. You lose fifty dollar, then you psychology say, oh, I lose fifty percent. Mm. It psycho you back. <laughs> But if you think about it, it's only hundred dollar, <clears throat> right? Right. So to answer that, minimum one thousand dollar they can start already. But if they want to start to just having fun, just want to get the feeling, hundred to two hundred dollar is what we call. Warming up money, right? Mm. Okay. So And then when it comes answer. to picking the platform, platform. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, trading platform here, but one of them I can say Okta. Right. I've used also a this lot. episode sponsored by Okta. <laughs> yeah, it just yeah. because be he personally used Okta, Okta right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now I I will share with you guys right. I have used a lot of other platforms. Mm. Okay, surprisingly, uh, guys. Yeah, Okta is steady. Right. So for us, the most important part is the broker. We want the data fit to be steady. That's mean easy for you to uh, buy. When the time is market move, I mean now you can easily yeah. exit and liquidate. This mm. not not yes, problem. Like, as well. yeah. yeah, you don't want to when when you buy when you want to take your profit, you want to click exit. <laughs> Cannot why? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's right. it's done right. So that's the first thing. Why I think choosing a good trading platform like what Denise says is correct. Actually, Octa came to me and, and they talked to me like, um, do you want to try our platform? I said right. no 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> we already we comfortable with this, this, mm. this, and this. Yeah. And they say you just try and and let us know. And then I ask my R and D team. I say, yeah, why not? Mm. We just try. And then my R and D team come back and say, boss, boss. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually not bad. Right. <laughs> because I need my team to tell the real data. I yeah, don't yeah, want yeah. like oh because oh they are sponsoring you are going to be their yeah. marketing. I do not like mm. that. I really mm. want a data, a really solid data. So choosing mm. a good trading platform is important. Secondly, Okta is just happened to offer a very, very low spread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, like other broker, when you press button buy and sell, they will charge you a commission fee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That itself already take your profit. So is mm. it important to trading platform? Yes. Yeah. Okta, zero. Oh, they only earn from the spread and the spread is thin. <laughs> I see. Oh. I also think, I mean, how I they- how So they, skilled. How they uh, <laughs> that's why they're so aggressive with the ads. <laughs> 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 right? Not only that you having easy of deposit and withdraw, you know how fast you can withdraw? In less than 10 minutes, you can see in your bank account. Oh, wow. Ooh. because last time yeah. when I use a broker, so I like deposit two, three right days, through three days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I use Okta, I deposit. The fastest is five minutes. Reflect in your trading account. Right. Wow. And then when you want to withdraw, less than 10 minutes. The fastest they ever did for me is five minutes. Right. So the withdrawal one is killer because sometimes you just want to be liquid. Sometimes you just need the cash, yeah. and then it's like oh, two three days you have to yes. wait, and you're just waiting for the money. I have my students. He he said that oh today I want to eat the uh, breakfast. Ah, let me look my. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, there you uh, go. Today breakfast uh, is so. <laughs> I think this is a good time to mention that you can download the Okta trading app on the App Store or the Google Play Store. Mm. And if you quote daily catch up, you actually get a hundred percent deposit bonus. Boom. Huh? Up to. Up to, we will put it down here. We okay, actually we read through yet. the terms and conditions awesome. and it didn't say up to. Okay. But okay, we so were, sell your house, guys. <laughs> so I can do a million dollars even though I don't have it. I get two million dollars. You can check the description to dash wow. your hopes. Or, uh, okay, 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 so okay. that's mean like if you put like $1,000, Okta gonna give you a credit $1,000 uh, to match yes. that. And then so you, you can really start already. Yeah. Oh, and okay. you can start the trading. Have extra margin for your trade. Yep. So yeah. awesome, awesome. Well, one thing I'm curious is like, what made you want to go from, because you mentioned about your your journey, you were investing uh, your family fund and then after you got into um, trading, right. what made you want to get into teaching? Teaching? Yeah. Oh, I'm actually accidental become teacher. I do not want <laughs> to become a teacher actually. <laughs> But you end up teaching tens of thousands yeah. of and people. And that one is actually uh, accidental. Actually, um, back in Malaysia, we have one mentor is already like 30 to 40 years in the market. Yeah. He's like among the earliest one to bring the software and everything in Malaysia. Right. right. All mm-hmm. the trading charts and candlestick. Right. He's also the writer book of Japanese candlestick. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Wow, the guy's Malaysian. <laughs> yeah. 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 That, that is sick pride. Yeah. That is some sick pride. <laughs> 
Okay, okay. And in the world, we have ranking. Like if you are just only a certified financial technician, it's this level. There's one more level is called master. Right. Master mm. in He's master lah. He is master. In right. the world, is only maybe less than 10. Wow. Oh, because okay. that one you need to submit your, rep- you need to challenge like a, you need to do thesis. Yeah. You have okay. to run like a PhD. Wow. So it happened during the time, I'm learning with him. At the time that he feel like, oh yeah, his back ache, all got problem. I said, hey, he said that, why, Aizan, why not you go and teach? Hey, me, ah, uh, you help me to go and, and, and teach. I said, no, I'm I, I'm learning from you. you. Know, I also, I'm paying you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning and I'm paying you too, right? <laughs> he just said, feel like, oh, I feel not feeling well yeah. today. So there's a bunch of the students there, but at least you already went through my course for several times. Can you just help me? Uh, to teach, I say how to oh, teach. Oh, just uh, for that one right. day, right? Yeah, he say you just follow what I teach last time. Yeah, what I taught you, you just share with them. Uh, if they don't know later, I'll ask. I just need to take a rest for a while. He say, okay. So I say okay, oh. So I went there. I say okay. Um, my sifu not feeling well today, but I will take only this small part. So let's start the class. Okay. So when I I teach them, this suddenly different. Hey. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah. oh, hey, thank you. Because a lot of them is like senior, 50 years old. Right. Okay, okay. So, you know, senior people, they need slow teaching. Mm. Right. Uh, like we Then all. just nice, you junior. Uh, so, yeah. I'm junior, okay. La. So, they ask question, uh, where to click? Uh? Oh, you know the place? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. become computer yeah. classes. Uh, <laughs> become a computer class. Then, you know. <laughs> So he didn't go through his lesson yeah. plan. So you yeah. yeah. every question, yeah. how to yeah. on? Uh, how to on, uh, uh, how Google to download the, the apps and everything. So I say like, oh, okay. And and suddenly like some of them, the senior come to me like, thank you so much yeah, for helping me out. Or yeah. I learned something. Hey, suddenly it's mm. like- Satisfaction, like fulfillment. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like shock, oh. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think like kind of cool. And then my mentor asked me, so how do you feel today? Oh, I didn't know like teaching like this, like sharing is like, Give something, yeah. you, you know the thing. Mm. Like, can, can I ask how much you could you charge? Huh? Less than two hundred. Huh? Oh, S- sign R- me R- up. <laughs> Sing lah, USD. 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 Okay. That makes more sense. So you ask me, oh, do I make money from coaching? No. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if yeah, somebody yeah. can sell like ten thousand dollar, twenty thousand dollar, mm. why I want to do that? I yeah. just feel like okay, happy. But if some of them, I have a students that. Um, they they pay that fee, but really very naughty one. Don't want to study everything. <laughs> I say you take back your two hundred. I don't want it. Oh, oh money yeah, back. I give back one. <laughs> yeah. I don't oh. want. It. No, but two hundred dollars one session lah, one consultation. Six months. Oh, huh? huh? That's mad. That's two hundred a month. Are you currently taking oh, two hundred for six months? Two hundred to three. Bro, you are charging for real. So then, like, cannot even break even. What? Many uh, students. You need no, to but you're like one hundred one time. Yeah. To so so you you understand? Like, yeah. I don't make money from teaching one. I don't. I think you lose a bit as well. Some of them, the business marketing guy, they come to me like. Do you know you can charge your session easily 10K? Yeah. People is making money like this. Yeah. I don't know, I say. I don't feel good about it. Okay. I'm just happily teaching. I just charge 200, $300. I have a like, like, like client. I didn't know that he's like super rich, you know. <laughs> so I'm sharing with him this and that. And then he asked me, okay, um, uh, if like I take this trade, uh, what do I see? What is my risk? So I tell him this is percentage of the risk. I'm going to buy a bit, he said, the stock. <laughs> a bit only, he said. So I was thinking like a bit maybe like 5,000 mm. or 10,000, right? So after the price went up, he said, I make profit. He want to belanja me. Mm. Yeah. He said, come, let's have a dinner. So okay, lah. we have a nice dinner, I eat. He said, thank you, huh? I make 200K. <laughs> oh. <laughs> By the way, this whole restaurant. <laughs> 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 I was like, can you say the word again? Wow. Did you ask him whether he's accepting students or not? <laughs> <laughs> he said, say, make 200K. I said, I should order Wagyu, really. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, but suddenly, because like, at the time, I don't trade big like him. Yeah. But I'm a person like, I'm just only share the knowledge. I didn't know a right. small thing like this is impact him. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. I said like, oh my God, this may be the satisfaction of teaching that you don't know what you guys can do. Like me, right. yeah. I'm teaching of my students right, how to trade the Forex market. Right? Yeah. Do you know that they are the one take it to the next level like crazy. Right? Yeah. Right. And then they come back to me like, teacher, oh, thank you. Wow. You know the feeling when somebody yeah. say thank you, it's like, you know, the feeling like, right. yeah. ah, mm-hmm. you feel like, oh, this one, the feeling like money cannot buy. So m- many people say that if you're so good at trading, just trade out why you also want to teach class. Mm, Do correct, you think correct. this is why? Yeah, come again. Do you think this is why you still want to teach? Yeah. Maybe then we can move on to talking a bit about technical analysis and fundamental analysis. So this is how yeah. do you pick a stock? So now that I cool. put my money in, I chose which platform I want to do, then where do I begin? There's so many stocks to even look at, right? Okay. Like, like right now, I really less in stocks already, Okay. right? 
but I have experience about looking at the stocks, mm -hmm. right? So normally in, in, in trading view, they have one screener mm -hmm. because in Singapore or, or the world, we have thousands of stocks, right? Mm. So normally the first two things that the your screener is, is smart enough to identify which stock that already break out. Yeah. Mm. Means already in momentum, but mm. you don't want to chase, you know? Yeah. So what you want to do is actually you want to wait until it give you a discount. So there's another screener also can help you out. One of it is Stochastica. Right. If you combine stochastic and bullish engulfing, it's good enough already. Writing down this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So stochastic is because normally stock, we want it to be cheap and then going up. So yeah. you need to have a screener that you add in stochastic reading. And then you look at the stock daily, stochastic is down. And then after that, you look at the candle pattern like bullish engulfing. Bullish engulfing is one of the best. Mm. In fact, the best because this, mm. why bullish engulfing is so powerful because that is the buy them in already. Mm. Okay. So if you look at candlestick like Harami, Hammer, oh, 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 you'll be aggressive. Engulfing is like, okay, mm. the buyer means got muscle already. Mm. But another one that really can create something is more increase your high accuracy. This is what, what, what I see. Yeah. Is Fibonacci. Mm. Yeah. So you're going to look at the Fibo 50 and 61.8. And another one more level I will give you, special one. Thank you. Level 72. Mm. Nobody talk about 72. There's one guy study about this. It's about to be approved in the journal, actually. 72 oh. is used oh. in Elliott Wave. 176.2. Uh, no, uh, Elliott Wave still using all the golden ratio. But right. this one is actually, why 72? Because they believe in 61, they got trapped. Oh. Right. So right. when the market, okay, it's like, this is the whole entire body. Oh, they right? built in the trap. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, this is the, the leg, this is the head. Normally the price will go back to the, the waist, la. to the waist, the middle, right? yeah. like you're standing like this, right, Daniel? Yeah. yeah. So normally the market will go back to your waist at least yeah. before it, it go yeah. up. Mm. Yeah. But if everybody looking at there, yeah. yeah, you understand now? Yeah. They will create a little bit trap first to liquidate your stop loss, then 72. Yeah, it's getting so much more complex, right? Because the wheels are the, the single men now. <laughs> <laughs> what John says is absolutely correct. Will all this is going to get complex when, especially when AI and robot coming in here. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, you know, your double bottom, everything may be in future will mm. no yeah. longer be. I feel like double absolutely. tops and double bottoms are not even reliable today anymore. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The market can move even increase. Can I ask amongst the students that you have taught, right? What is the most common trading mistake you observe? They want to get rich quick. Okay. Yeah. That's the first thing. I will say it straight to you. So they don't actually really have a full grasp of what their risk appetite is? Right. Or they Until I mentioned about like, you know, you need to go slow, you need to manage your risk. They say, ah, okay. Like, of course, in business and everything, you want to right. make more money fast and everything is, is, is fine. But trading is different. You need to have the skills first. So the common mistake that I see this, the, the student make is actually uh, want to get rich quick. And then number two, they do not have the patience for the first two years to mm. practice first. Right. They want to make money quickly. They say, oh, my hand really itchy. I got a skill already. It's right? true, it's true. So the most I, boring part in trading yeah. is after you enter your position and you just look at it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually reduce a lot of your mistake is actually by practicing their more account first. Right, right, right. Yeah, I think the but problem is because- But then I am missing out the real money I could have exactly, made. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Because yes. demo account, I always have one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you understand? <laughs> when you trade with demo account, go up. Uh -huh. Because you don't have an emotional attached to that money. Right. Uh -huh. So that's what you need to take away and put because it to your Because account actually train you to not have an attachment emotion towards that money. Uh -huh. And then the moment you put your real money, you still need to remove your attachment towards that money. Right, okay, right? okay. So, so that's why, I, as I mentioned to all my students, right? They all need to start with demo account. In fact, I'm the one who will tell them, it's time for you to use real money or not. I'm the one to give them the oh. green light. So what are you looking for? Yeah. So when, when they start with demo account, they need to challenge themselves. First of all, they need to show that they can grow their account 30 to 50% in three months. Oh, okay. okay. That's okay, okay. that's quite get rich quick. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not that really rich, like yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. But you're doing it in a way that's- uh, They yeah. have to follow a, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a, a strategy, right? Yeah. It, it cannot be one miracle yeah. trade. Like. You, so, have, you have to get so, 10 trades, right? So some of my students, they take about like four months. They get 30%. It's okay. Yeah, I say, okay. And then I look at the money management. They really do it nicely. 3%, they cut loss and everything. Uh, then I give them a green light. You must pass this. And then after that, why we need to start with a small money first? Even though you are rich, you have a lot of money, that doesn't mean you straight away can trade. Yes. Small you money, you're referring to you. 1,000. 
Oh, okay. You manage one thousand first. Oh, okay. Okay. Then why? they say, why, why one thousand? Uh. Okay, why one thousand? Because I say <laughs> you show one thousand first, and then you can grow. The same thing. Yeah. It's not about the money. It's about you progress it nicely yeah. and mm. you maintain and you don't lose the one k. Yeah. Mm. The whole idea is can you sustain not. To blow up your one one yeah. one k, right? Like it's so not making it gamble, lah, right? Because yeah. if it's a gamble, if it's up down sea luck, then might as well go casino. Correct. So they come to me, they say, uh, "Sir, sir, sir, you see my account one one k? I managed to grow thirty percent already. I say impressive. Now let me have a look on your trading. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one one lucky trade. Right. Uh, Boom. Um, Start yeah. back again. Wow, fierce. This is like karate. <laughs> okay, okay, but this is interesting. This is interesting. This is good. I okay, say okay. you are lucky, thirty yeah. percent. You say yes, I managed to get set. Can I add my five k account? Start all over again. I'm sorry. Why? <sighs> Your money management is out. Yeah. This is just a lucky trade. You trade big, you hit the thirty percent, then you say yes. Yeah. I'm done. No. For yeah. me, I got lucky very early. So the problem when you get lucky early is you think that you know what you are doing. Eh? <laughs> so so what's the story? Uh, I mean, like so I I I once um I once closed the position at negative eighty thousand. Oh yeah. Oh. USD yeah. Oh. So there was a bit pain ah, a bit pain, a bit pain. Right, right. So for me, right, I started trading obviously during the crypto period, right? Wow. Because it, it's insanely volatile. So I started learning about three four years ago. Right. It's it's a skill set that once you more or less have, you feel a weight lifted off your shoulder. Mm -hmm. That your day job, you can really pick something that you like. Mm -hmm. And True. you can use trading to cover the excess funds that you might need. Mm -hmm. It also feels like if I ever feel like this world is too much, right? Too much for me or the pace of living in Singapore, this corporate life is too much for me. Mm. I always have the option to say, Maybe I could go to Bali for 12 months and mm. I won't come back broke. I won't be eating up my savings. I'll be using my savings to generate an income. Mm. Mm. Even yeah. if it's a little bit, so the baby's safer. Lah, huh? yes. Take profit a bit earlier. Yes. TP1 go and only wait for TP3, right? <laughs> <laughs> so no, take profit. He is trading already. It's, so it's interesting. I, I feel like that's, that's important. And, and right. especially for, for some of the people that have been working here for a longer time, that's something yes. that I also like, tell them about it. That, that it, it is important because at some point within this industry, if you are not owner, there right. is somewhat of a ceiling. It's right. the owner's job. Is the owner's job to lift the ceiling of the business right. so that the people within it can have higher earning power. If you are oh. not commission based, correct. But okay. there are times where the industry itself is limiting, or that the timing may not be right for us to be able to lift the ceiling at this point. Right. However, whoever working under that ceiling, mm. their life still progress. They still need to buy that house. They still need to get married. They still need to raise their children. Their children still need school fees. Right. And so for that, I always tell them to always look for that external source. That it's not you know you're not beholden to the mood swing mm -hmm. of the employer. Right. Yeah. So to me, right trading skills is something that fundamentally, I wish everyone with, with the privilege of having a bit of savings, right? Mm. Must go and try one. Mm. This yeah, is must go boss. and learn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. yeah, this is something like what you say is absolutely correct. Uh, I hope that you all remember when COVID attack the yeah. whole entire world. Everybody stuck at home, mm. what kind of skills they, they can do? Yeah. One of it is actually trading because mm. trading regardless of the market up and down recession or COVID, the market is still moving. Mm. Yeah. And, and Adam Koo said this, I saw it in the video clip. Yes. Also, this is not financial advice. This is not. This is Something important yeah, to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Maybe what he said only. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us, we don't know what's going on. Uh. <laughs> so I, I think how Adam Koo put it, right, was that in the next five, 10, 15 minutes or one or two days, right? right. No company in the stock market mm -hmm or country uh, is making such major moves uh, that start treating the price. 3% right. down, 10% up, then 9% down, then 2% up. Right. Nothing is actually happening. Mm -hmm. It's the emotion and sentiment of the market. Yep, yeah. true. Having a strong, or a, having knowledge of how technical trading works or how the chart works mm. gives you a slight edge. Yeah. The slight edge is one, two, three percent. Mm -hmm. um, Correct. And so in order for your one, two, three percent edge to work out, mm -hmm. it requires you to make 100 trades to right. to have a guaranteed positive like, in that sense. If yep. you still know what you're doing and you stick to your rules to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, nothing is guaranteed, I take that back. <laughs> yeah, so he like awesome. into a coin flip, right? In right. that sense that yeah. every position at, at the stock market at any point of time, it, it can go up, 
it can go down. No. Why it go up? Actually, nobody knows. No. Why it go down? Actually, nobody knows. So <laughs> obviously, there are significant events. For example, if an airline crash, for example, or yeah. we look at COVID pandemic or government print money, you know, these are the things that move the Fed, move the interest rate. These are things that immediately move the market. Right. But in the, in the next hour from now, nothing's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Yet the stock market is going to go up, down, up, down for the next bloody hour, right? <laughs> so it becomes a coin flip on where, where up, where down, how up, how down. Mm. Yeah, and so it's it's important, like it's it's interesting for me to be able to grasp that that concept that what we are nice. trading here is hypothetical nothing happening yeah. <laughs> yeah where where we are playing with emotions and that's why to a certain extent the patterns reflect the emotions mm. of the market absolutely yeah Boom. Okay, now you teach us the real stuff. Let's get free course out of this. <laughs> so now let's begin with methodology. Methodology is divided into two, fundamental and technical. Mm. But a lot of people out there is, the moment you say fundamental, they don't get the idea. What, what, what is that? You know, I think <laughs> opposite. <laughs> I think people can kind of guess what fundamental analysis is. Well, you know, when I first learned what technical analysis is, right. I was so disappointed. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it's such a, it's such a big something. word. It's right. such a big oh, word, you right. know, and like technical and like, what oh. am I looking at? And then you realize, yeah. oh, I'm finding pattern. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> yeah, okay, so like fundamental is like, maybe it's for some of them, they want to lament terms, right? Like say for example, all, all, all three of you here, you want to go and picnic. You say, okay, we're going to picnic, we're going to have fun and we're going to enjoy the beach. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to look at the sky. Mm. Why? You want to see whether it's a sunny day or whether it's going to be a rainy day. That is fundamental. You need to look at the weather first, right? So now once you see the weather, whether it's a sunny or rainy day, say for example, it's sunny day, that's good. So you need to know your location. This is where you use your apps, like Google map or Waze. Is it in Singapore you like to use Waze? Yes. If you use Waze, you go to the place that that you want to head, that is called technical analysis. So now, let's talk about the simple idea. Stock market totally have a different fundamental than currency. Did you know that? No. Not the same. So in, in, in stock market, you will look at the company ratio, PE ratio, mm. the earnings and everything. Yep. But in currency market, in forex trading, you look at interest rate. Right. You That's look true. at non payroll. And there is a few mentors in Okta right now. They mm. already engaged. And that's another thing I want to share with you guys. The cool part is the education part is free. So is it okay I show you guys? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So in the Okta apps right now, you can learn, right? There's a section here is called webinar. Okay. Oh. There's a webinar. So you guys can see that. Yeah. And the cool part is the webinar, when you click here, the webinar, there'll be mentor. Oh, oh when you buy online courses, this is what you get also, guys. <laughs> but this is free. <laughs> guys, this is free. Oh. And they have a live trade together. Oh, live trading. No, but this is pre-recorded how they live trading. No, no, they will notify they have you live when is the live also. trading session. Oh, I oh. see. Oh, so, so fun. They don't take commission. They got all these okay, free okay, webinars. Okay. How are they earning money? Live Amazing. trade, notify me. So do you next. live trade? Yes, of course I live trade. But this one, when they live trade, I feel like so awesome. Because <laughs> you know why? Uh, they have, of course, they have all the gears, this and that. But the way when they enter a te- technical part, it really help a lot of beginners, right? To shortcut yeah, yeah, all yeah. the process. And they will tell you, okay, this is the cut loss. This is tech profit, okay. Make sure they remind you. Make sure yeah. that you trade only money that you can afford to lose. Make sure. But if they make a wrong call, then they'll instantly gonna complain by thousands of people. Oh, no, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Okay. For okay. sure. That is the thing. When you become a teacher and everything, you always have a pressure. Yeah. But when 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 a real true teacher that respect the market, if the market really go the opposite way, admit. Yeah. yeah. Cut. Yeah. Cut mean doesn't mean you are a failure or you're not a bad yeah. man. You just really respect the market. Yeah. yeah. So that's the, the mar- point of the stop loss anyway. A, a Correct. good trader yeah. would make 45, 48 bad trades. Correct. 52 Correct. good trades. Mm. So if somebody say that I have a 95 accurate, 95% ninety-five accuracy and I never have a lot of bad mm. trade. All my trade is 95% accurate. That's a red flag. Mm. I think Warren Buffett will sure hire this. <laughs> higher so people that maybe start by following the mentors with the live webinars and all that, right? Do they find it difficult to then stop watching the mentors and start trading on their own? Uh, doing when, especially like when they watch all these mentors, right? Mm. They do a trading, right? Actually, both things happen at the same time because they need to educate. Right. Okay, why you enter this? Then they will jot down the nuts. Okay, why do you okay. say this? They have to jot down the nuts. So right. at the end of the day, the whole idea for them is actually for them to be independent. Oh, right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So it, the, the webinars are not framed in a way that you always need to rely on them. Yeah. Uh. And then you can ask them question anytime. You just ask them. Like trading question? Yeah. So it's oh, like you go to the webinars, right? 
Yeah, oh, because it's live. Mm. They can yeah. see one or not? Is it, yeah, they, they can see. Is, is it a lot of people? If a yeah, lot of yeah. people, then very hard to read my yeah, question. Yeah, so it's like, uh, sometimes one session is like 1,000 people. Okay, oh, okay, people, that's okay. So yeah. it's okay. So there will be people here, they're all over the world, these, these traders. So sometimes mm. they bring a trader from Japan, they bring a trader from Europe, mm. and they all are vast experience, more than me. Mm. Like right. 20 years, 25 years, they handle even bigger fun than me. So I'm only tutor. This one is Sifu level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one is not really Sifu level. So this is the part I think also the cool thing about Okta because they have all the learning platform yeah, yeah, they yeah, want yeah. and it's free. Oh. Yeah. Do you think that is good? I think that is good. Yeah. <laughs> you, like, because a lot of people, they want to go out there and then to learn. Of course, those who like to go and learn with the good mentors and they charge, they like to pay, that's no problem. To pay. I, I but, find what a mentor does for mm. you, I mean, online the resource is all there one. And, yes, and Okta yes, does a good job correct. on that. Yeah. Yes. Where, where a mentor helps you is they personalize it for you in that they know what your weakness, your weak spots are. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they're expensive. I think one of the most common questions that people ask when it comes to technical analysis is that when I look at all of these indicators, right, they are mm. mostly lagging. So actually, how dependable are they? No, this is the cool thing. But before that, let's ask John first because he's, he's trading in the <laughs> market already, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh shit. Your favorite indicator? Well, exactly. How do you look Why? at it? How do you I, look okay, at it? So Charts actually, I have another question from that in which I don't look at indicators. No. I mean, it depends on what you look at for indicators. Cool. Like, I mean, cool. RSI and, and, and uh, EMAs Magdi, and all that stuff. Yeah, no, I do. Right. Magdi, no. No, Magdi. Uh, but I'm a trend trader. I think I spend a lot of money and blow a lot of money <laughs> um, to figure out my what works for me okay which is that what i've come to learn especially now i think in the past when everybody had access to similar information for right. the most part right. um, and retail in investors invest with retail kind of money now right. you see re retail investors are whales also right mm. so they um, can combine make like they don't move yeah they don't move the market by mm. themselves kind mm. now you see people moving market mm. Just them and their two friends they move markets already right right so from that reason i i no longer look at any form of patterns Right. So, but do you still look the chart clean? I, I look, do you still no, no, do no, your no support clean. resistance, at least all yes. the basic part? Ah, yes, that, that's, yes. That's correct. I right. only look at support resistance and then trends loss. So you go and draw the, yeah. the, the, the bouncy right. bouncy trend or the bouncy right. bouncy trend, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, but last time, you know, boo flag, bear flag, double top, double bottom, <laughs> lunch <laughs> <laughs> Because, because what, I mean, at least for me, like, what I've come to deduce, oh right, God. is that this especially is so when the blue flag is super clear, right? Right. It's a textbook blue flag. Mm. It feels as though everybody know that this is a textbook blue flag. So right. if I have money, I'm not going to buy into the blue flag. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to grab your liquidity, which is what people with money will do. And so if everybody has the same playbook, they cannot play anyway. But I'm a person that I always curious, like if that is always happened, there must be another trader that will always do contrary. Yeah. Yeah. On that. And the reason one is called smart money concept, yeah. which is what he learned. This is the guy that go against that. Because like, what you say? They don't want to follow the herds. Yeah. If those who are watching right now, you can go to YouTube right now, find the ICT, it's called the Inner Circle Trader. Okay. Uh, it's by Michael Huddleston. Oh, that's a book, yes. I see. So they have a program. Like it's also that. an indicator, guys, yes, the yeah. smart money concept. So this guy, he don't use any indicator. Right. RSI, MACD and everything, really less or totally no at all. You just look at the price pattern, how how it move. So one of the things that he actually looking like what you mentioned, the trap. Imagine, yeah. you remember last time when you mentioned, if you enter here, you put your stop loss here. But did you realize sometimes the price go down yeah. and kick out your stop loss and start yeah. to move the direction? You know what he did? Every day. He, yeah. he, he trade the trap. He trade right. the trap. trap. Right. Okay. Your stop loss is his entry. <laughs> Does yeah. it sound interesting? Correct. Yeah. Because everybody's doing that way. Now, John is the one that is yeah. going to do a different way. <coughs> Not say very successfully also, <laughs> la, just to be clear. <laughs> do you think there are people who shouldn't trade? Yes. Gamblers? Mm. Desperate people cannot trade. Yeah. Do you, if say for example, if you have loan with along, yeah, uh, yeah. loan sharks, yeah. something happened into your life. I understand nowadays you don't know what happened. Yeah. People may have business challenge, business problem. They are desperate people. I understand that because everybody maybe they have a challenge that they want to break through. Mm. So then when they look at the forex, they thought that this is going to solve my problem. No, mm. yeah. yeah, you will go deep into because you need to take time. So so these kind of people cannot. Tra I know mm. a trader since university time trade consistently, can turn hundred dollar to five thousand dollar in several months, and then he grew up after many years from that small amount to ninety thousand mm -hmm. US dollar. 
Mm-hmm. Until one day, the girlfriend asking, when you going to marry me? Mm. I'm this age already. I need to get married. Then he calculate $90,000. If I wake the market tonight, <laughs> oh, f- you, you, yeah. you get the story. If I wake the market tonight, I'm going to get 300K. And that time is a very high impact news, very yeah. big. So he already calculate, or oh, based on this fundamental and technical analysis, I am 80 to 85% there. Yeah. All in. First, the market go up. Yeah. You always let like that, they give you a bit of false hope. You know, the, then you see the number, wow, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, or 20K. You know the feeling like, uh, but the moment it start to drop, zip, 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 yeah. zip, like, 5K. You, you tell yourself, it will turn, it will turn. Then he look at that, sweating, left only $200. <gasps> From 90K, wow. left only $200. He drove the car and then need to meet the girlfriend. Now what is a very long drive, you know, three to four hours drive. So we follow him at the back. Oh, you're so, also very steady. Because we're afraid that he will jump, yeah. and, you know. When he arrived to the girlfriend's house, okay, knock the door, he kneeled down. The girlfriend think that is a romantic thing, but this time he kneeled down with the both feet, both knee together. Then the girlfriend say, why? Say, we lost all our money. Huh? Bam, the door. So, didn't see his face and that girl married another guy next month. Wow. He lost everything. Good riddance then, good for him. He lost everything. $90,000 to find that out. When he went back, he said, brother, I know money, I can I borrow your money. Yeah. I have to give him 2K, you know, just, just for him to survive, you know. You know what he did with the money? He go and drink, you know. Right. So yeah. you see, when once you break that kind of rule and everything, uh, you see how fast it can spiral. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Spiral. So the moment I see that one, uh, I promise to myself, okay, no matter what happened, is there ex- any external pressure, you still need to maintain what stick stay to in the plan. Mm. What stay in the trading room, uh, stay room. in the trading room. No yeah. matter what is the excessive pressure, like, oh, this one, you need to do this, this. Because anything can mess up your plan. Yes. That's why I always mention to my students, right? Every time they're about to jump in, I will tell them, this is the first rule. Everybody write it down. Okay, okay, okay. Teacher, why is that? Never ever trade with the money that you cannot afford to lose. Mm. No matter what. No, I, I think that in itself, right, is a problem right? Hmm? Because many people think that they can afford to lose, mm-hmm. but they cannot. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It you must know what be, be interesting? Roger. If let's say, right, mm-hmm. you charge them $1,200 cost fees. <laughs> but so they always spent it already <laughs> but you when they complete the course right, right you tell them ready to trade right you give them back one thousand ah that's a good idea they have yeah. been they already ah, ready to good, use or, or <laughs> you let them blow up <laughs> their account first when they man. blow up the account right you give them one insurance thousand dollar back oh. man, man, yeah. man 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 yeah, yeah, yeah but also yeah. cash flow is great because you get the thousand dollars first you can go and trade a yeah. bit then you have hit this yeah. is also 100% deposit bonus <laughs> 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 okay, so as we come to the end of another episode, it is time for today's painting, painting of, of the, the episode. episode. The Daily Catch-Up is a very proud partner of Shaping Hearts, an all-inclusive arts festival, and they support local artists with disabilities. So today's artwork that we are spotlighting is done by Chang Kai Ni. It's called Bloom. So you'll see here very bright lilies against a dark background, and it shows off this very pure and innocent aura. So it- Kai Ni actually was in a car accident that mm. left her paralyzed from the shoulders down due to a spinal cord injury. And it's incredible because like, if you're looking at it up close, right, she captures mm. the realism of the flowers, right? While she paints with her mouth, which she self taught by the way. Exactly. So a lot of her work is known by its intricacy as well as the depth that it has. And if you would like to cop such a beautiful, meaningful piece of art for yourself, do check us out at Shaping Hearts on the 19th of October at our Tempanese Hub. We'll see you there. We'll be there. And back to the episode. So we hope that today's episode has given you a head start in your trading journey. Of course, a big thank you to Azone for joining us Amazing. and our partners for today's episode, Okta. The Okta trading app is now available on app stores as well as the Google Play Store and the live webinars that Azone talked about is available in app as well as on their YouTube page. So you can also scan this QR code now if you want to download the app. And if you use the link down in our description below to make a deposit, you will get a 100% deposit bonus with the code daily catch up. Man. Don't miss out. Oof. And on top of that, there's even going to be a unique risk management course that you can access for free. Don't say we never share. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. And bye-bye. Bye. So I have one trader, right? Uh, he, he he's, If I'm not mistaken, I think he's a Singaporean trader also, that he trade the oil. Future oil, no brainer. How low it can go? Zero is the last. Uh, zero is the <laughs> last price, ma. 50 cent, one dollar. What, what else can go lower than zero? It's nothing, it's zero already. Mm. Then anything you buy like 10 cent, 20 cent, it's like no need to 
but need yeah. to look at the chart. Move about one cent, two cent, and you know how yeah. how much money you make. Uh. So I think he projected at the time like three to four million. Yeah, you're wow. gonna make for the very first time after how many years? <laughs> they would never happen in in the world. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> A very demure market. I remember market. this time. I remember yeah. when this future happened. Future crude oil, because the whole world COVID, right? At the yeah. time, cannot use like Never in life you see the future crude oil go negative. Like the next day he woke up, he just, you know, feeling like- <laughs> Like he don't know how the world works. <laughs> <laughs>